This is Dapu7, an update on what's going on with HARP. The last time we talked about this, they were hitting the moon with a beam, and they were also trying to send a beam all the way out to Jupiter, running a series of tests. HARP is notoriously connected with weather events and things of that nature. They can, for a fact, blast the ionosphere with high energy and heat. And it's pretty obvious, we all know that if you add heat to a storm system with a core of it, you're going to fuel it. So in comes all the talk of steering storm systems, hurricanes, tornadoes, things of that nature. And they've been blasting these beams, as I said before, out into space. Now they're trying to target a near-Earth asteroid. In an attempt to try to get a beat on what they're going to do when asteroid Apophis passes Earth in 2029. That will be a pretty crazy event because Apophis is set to pass closer than the satellites that we've got up there. So it's going to come very close. We're just going to have to wait and see what it brings with it. But it's going to be an event that people can see from their own backyard with a telescope. So in the meantime, HARP continuing to blast and hit things out there. And across the United States at the same time, we're seeing huge storm system, cold air sweeping across the United States, severely cold, all happening while, while HARP is fired up. So anything can seem to happen when this facility is operational. We've talked about earthquakes and weather events before. Well, this time on December 27th here, upcoming, they're going to blast this asteroid basically as a test for Apophis. Again, this is what they're doing. Anything pops off between now and then, I'll continue to update you guys. If you guys get any information you want to get to me, let me know. Dapu7 at yahoo.com. And hit that subscribe button for more. It's been Dapu7. Eyes to the skies.